Hello everyone. This is your favorite ma'am and I welcome you back to the science class today. So in today's lesson, we will be talking about forest, which is our lifeline. So without much further ado, let's move forward and get started with our chapter. So let's start with forest. What is a forest? Forest is a natural habitat for many different kinds of plants and animals. Forests provide food and shelter for animals. Like in ancient time, we used to live in forest. It met all our requirements for leading a normal life at that time. But nowadays, we live in cities and towns far off from forest. So we really don't know the importance of forest in our life. Forest is a natural renewable resource, a habitat to many forms of wildlife like bear, bison, elephant, jackal, porcupine, crocodile, snake, etc. The forest also contains insects like butterfly, honeybees and birds which help in pollination of various flowering plants and in the end growth of forest. Many trees like teak, bamboo, fig, shisham, neem, palash, amla and kachnar are also found in the forest. Forests also have several kinds of shrubs, herbs, grasses, climbers and creepers etc. Now let's talk about the products that we get from forest. So we get several useful products from forest like wood which is used to make the paper that we write on. Then we get spices, gum and rubber which is used to make the eraser that we use oils various oils like olive oil saffron oil honey and also the fodder that we give to our cattle and lastly we also get several medicinal plants and herbs from the forest now let's talk about certain characteristics of trees in the forest the branchy part of a tree above the stem is called the crown of the tree so the crown of the tree have different shapes. The branches of tall trees look like a roof over the other plants in the forest. This is called a canopy. Different trees have different heights, crowns, shapes of the leaves, flowers and fruits. So the uppermost branches and leaves of tall trees in the forest, which act as a roof over the forest ground, is called Canopy. It is the highest layer of vegetation in the forest. And the different horizontal layers formed due to different types of crowns in the forest is called an understory. There are many living organisms that live in forest and are interdependent on each other for survival. For example, autotrophs. Autotrophs are the green plants which prepare their food by the process of photosynthesis. They absorb nutrients and water from soil, carbon dioxide from air, and sunlight as an energy source. They provide food to all living organisms which live in the forest. Thus, they are called the producers. The second are heterotrophs. Heterotrophs are the animals which get their food directly or indirectly from plants. All animals are called heterotrophs specifically because they depend on other organisms for food and hence they are also called consumers. The next are decomposers. Mostly these organisms are microorganisms like bacteria, fungi and also worms and insects. They feed on dead plants and animals and thus are also called saprotrophs. These organisms, that is decomposers, they break down the dead parts of plants and animals and turn into simple substances. They play a very vital role in sustaining the forest. Lastly, we'll talk about scavengers. They are those animals which eat dead animals like vulture, crows, jackals, hyena, even some insects like ants, beetles, maggots, earthworms and millipedes. Scavengers are the cleaning agent of our environment. But these are not decomposers as they do not break down complex dead matter into simple ones. 
Now let's talk about food chain. So organisms which feed on plants are eaten by other organisms and so on to form food chains. For example, sun is the primary source of energy. Its energy is being utilized by plants to make their food, which in turn gets eaten by herbivore animals like deer and cows. These herbivore animals are then consumed by carnivore animals like lions and tigers. So there are many food chains in the forest. All the food chains are linked together. So if any food chain is disturbed, it will affect other food chains as well. Now let's talk about another food chain that is found in a forest, which starts with grass. Grass is eaten by grasshopper, which is eaten by a toad, the toad is eaten by a snake and a snake is eaten by a hawk. A food chain always always starts with a green plant that is producers which is eaten by an animal. So all the animals in the food chain are consumers. A food chain will always end with a predator. The predator is always at the top of a food chain. The sun is very important for all living things. Without the sun, the plants would not grow. Without plants, there would be no animals. So now let's talk about balance of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Forests help in maintaining the balance between the oxygen and carbon dioxide by releasing oxygen during photosynthesis. This provides all animals, including us, humans with oxygen to breathe and helps to maintain the ratio of oxygen to carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. That is why forests are also called green lungs. So if the amount of carbon dioxide increases in the atmosphere, it would result in an increase in earth's temperature. So plants in the forest intake carbon dioxide from the atmosphere during photosynthesis. Hence, they help to maintain the right amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. The importance of forests cannot be underestimated. We depend on forest for our survival. From the air we breathe to the water we drink. From the soil we live on to the wood we use. Let's talk about importance of forest again. Forest is a natural habitat for a large number of plants and animals. Forest help in maintaining oxygen and carbon dioxide balance in the atmosphere. Forests help in bringing good rainfall. Forest also helps to protect soil from soil erosion. Forest also absorb rainwater and helps to maintain water table. We get many medicinal plants, timber and other useful products from forest. Many people live in the forest and forest also provide them with food, water, shelter and medicines. So with this, we have reached the end of this video. I would like to leave you with a quote at the end. Be kind to the trees, they are busy saving the world. So now I hope you know the meaning behind this quote as well. So if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and leave a comment in the comment box below. Also, subscribe and share with your friends for my upcoming videos. Thank you.